And this do what? Oh. All quiet on the Potomac now. And she ran back down into him and went in there with him. I'm sure she did. I'm terrified. Oh, no, there's nothing to be scared of. They're crazy about each other. I'm not accustomed to it. Oh, no, it, it, it's a shame it had to happen when you just got here, but don't take it too serious. Violence is Oh, so oh sit down and step and have a cigarette with me. No, well, I'm not properly dressed. <laughs> don't matter the quarter. <laughs> Such a pretty case. Oh, yes, I'll show you the inscription, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> So much confusion in the world right now. <gasps> oh, why don't you sit down, take off your jacket, and listen to your collar? Oh, I better leave it on. No, I want you to be comfortable. Oh, no, I'm ashamed of the way I perspire. I'm sure you stick it to me. Perspiration is healthy. Why, if people didn't perspire, they'd be dead in five minutes. <laughs> oh, this is a nice coat. They call it stuff alpaca. Alpaca. Very lightweight alpaca. Lightweight alpaca. A man with a heavy build's got to be careful about what he puts on so he doesn't look too clumsy. Oh, you're not too heavy? Well, you don't think I am? Well, you're not the delicate type. You have a massive bone structure and a very imposing physique. Well, I thank you. Last Christmas I was given a membership to the Nolan's Athletic Club. Oh, good. It was the finest present I was ever given. I, I work out there with the weights. I swim. I keep myself fit. When I started there, I was soft in the belly, but now my belly's hard. My belly's so hard a man can punch me, but don't hurt me. Go on, punch me. I <laughs> see. Gracious. Blanche, guess how much I weigh? Well, I'd say in the vicinity of 215 pounds. No, no, guess again. Not that much? No more. Well, you're a very tall man, so you can carry a good deal of weight without looking awkward. I weigh 245 pounds, and I'm six foot one and one half inches tall, with bare feet, without shoes on, and that's what I weigh stripped. Well, Miss, you're at the plans of the afternoon. Not Sunday afternoon. You never want to go out any place till after six. And then at some place it's not lighted much. There is some obscure meaning in this, but I fail to catch it. What it means is I've never had a real good look at you, Blanche. Now let's turn the light on in here. The light? What light? Why? Well, this one, the one with the paper thing on it. Oh! What'd you do that for? So I can take a look at you good and plain. Of course, you don't really mean to be insulted. No, just realistic. I don't want realism. I want magic. Magic? Yes, magic! Oh. Magic! I don't mind you being older than I thought. The rest of it? Christ! That picture about your ideals being old fashioned, all the malarkey you've been dishing out all summer. I knew you weren't 16 anymore, but I was a fool enough to believe you were straight. Who told you I wasn't straight? My loving brother in law. And you believed him? No. I called him a liar at first. Then I checked on the story. I spoke with our supply man that travels through Laurel. And I talked directly over long distance to this merchant. And who is this merchant? Keyfiber. Oh, yes. The merchant Keyfiber. I know the man. He whistled at me and I put him in this place. So now for revenge, he makes up stories three about people me. people stand there. Keyfiber, oh, Sean, it's water there. Oh, what a dumb three men in a tub. And what a filthy tub. Well, didn't you stay in a hotel called the Flamingo? 